Yeah, it feels really good to get that win. Um, she's um, obviously has been in good form in the past couple of years. So, yeah, it felt really good just to get under there and just buckle down into win there. Yeah, I'm happy with um, being able to close that one out. Um, and uh, obviously, I think um, there's always things that I would like to work on to do better. But I think, you know, overall, it was a solid win for me. Right now, comparing yourself, it's Friday, well, coming up to the weekend. Uh, compared to other tournaments, how are you feeling right now? And with Thursday coming up tomorrow, uh, as compared to other Thursdays uh, in the second weekend of other tournaments? Yeah, and I feel really good. I'm hoping to be able to perform this semifinal. Um, I've been feeling pretty good this whole tournament so far, so I hope that I can be able to continue to feel pretty good. What do you remember most about that semifinal setting versus Osaka and Australia? So I think maybe your best match that Yeah, I think it was one of my best matches. I played pretty well the whole week and you know, um, but just I just remember being aggressive and going for it and keeping my errors down. But even even though in the second set she made a great effort to come back and and try to push for a third set, but I was able to you know get back in there and close it out. So um, it was a good match, even though the score line was one way. It was definitely a good match. Serena's fan woman had a really lousy match, and then you said. Uh, it was a match without brains, and uh, some of us got clipped that and started talking about the really smart people in the sport. Outside of your family and your support team, who's, who do you think is one or two smartest persons you've met in the sport and out of the sport? Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, I don't know. I think... Um, Gosh, you really put me on the spot here. Um, in the sport, I mean, there's so many smart people in the sport. I, and also, I've been around for years, so I'm just trying to rack up a lot of things. You know what? I'll have to come back to that. Give me, give me, give me a day or two. <laughs> Could you feel the energy tonight that this was one of the more prime matchups uh, on the women's side, one versus five, especially with the two seed out? And Others and could you tell from the fans and just everybody that they were really excited that you know, it was it was kind of a rematch for you? Yeah, it was definitely on paper. It's a great match. You know, it doesn't feel like a quarterfinal. It feels like a semi or a final match. So um, it was definitely something to gear up so early on in the tournament for. When talking about, talk about the next round, uh, playing, uh, Red Box yeah, uh, she's she knows how to play in big stadiums and big matches and um, big games. And obviously, she she's um, she does everything so well, including running. And this is a good surface for her because it's a slow surface. So I think I expect there'll be a lot of long rallies. And honestly, I'll be ready. And I really like Aga both on and off the court. I think she's super exciting to watch on the court. And I think off the court, she's really one of the nicest people. So. Regardless, I, I think um, it'll be a really good matchup, and whoever wins go on to the final. And she also ascended to number two with her win today. Does that add something extra to another one versus two matchup for you? Yeah, I was actually wondering about that. I was wondering, because she's been so consistent, I was thinking she should be higher. So um, good for her. Um, yeah, so I have to. It's unfortunate it can't be a final, but we'll see how it goes. She's she's um I don't think she's won this tournament yet, but um, obviously she probably wants to, and we'll see how that goes. Serena, how different is it to now be playing like a full March? Because for so long you only played in Miami, so you only had the second two weeks of March to get into tournament play. But does that impact your season and all your preparation change at all now that you played this tournament? Um, it's different, you know, uh, I definitely felt that difference a little last year. Um, doesn't really feel crazy different though. It's, 
I was training so much this time. In fact, it might be easier because when you're playing tournaments, you don't have to practice for two and a half, three hours, and then do the gym. And so it's much better to be at a tournament. It's one match at, at a time, Serena. But how would it feel after all these years to, to lift the trophy here? Um, I don't know. I heard it's hard to lift that trophy. So. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> too strong. <laughs> I'll How try. Would it would feel good. It would feel good, but like you said, there's a couple of matches. But uh, it would it would really feel good. But you know, one at a time. <laughs>